Hey, it's Mr. H, and I want to show you today a little animation that I've made using the Koch Snowflake, or maybe it's pronounced the Coach or Coke Snowflake. It's a neat fractal where basically you just take a triangle to begin with, a nice equilateral triangle, and we're going to take out the middle one third of each of these sides and build an equilateral triangle attached there. So let me show you in this animation, if we jump one step forward, this is what I mean. The first step is going to be to add these triangles and remove the piece of the side that we had before. So that makes a nice little star. But the cool thing about this fractal shape is that we can go another level out and we've just done the same thing again. So if I go back here, notice that we can take out the middle third on every side that we have and we can put in an equilateral triangle. As we do that, we end up with this shape and this is why it's called the Coach Snowflake, is that it's starting to look more and more like a snowflake. Before I get too far, I wanna make sure I give credit to a Reddit user named RoyalBot9000 who did a lot of the heavy lifting on the uh, the code or the Desmos graphing ideas behind this initially, um, but his only went up a few levels. Uh, so here I have another level of doing this again, and there's one more. So this is where the where it ended on the file that I had found. So I went in and wanted to extend this and think a little bit about the perimeter that we have here and the area that we have as well. So before I go a couple more iterations into this and get this to be much more defined, um, I want you to notice that the area is definitely never going to get above this circle. And I'm gonna darken in that circle a little bit so that you can see, but notice that the area of our fractal snowflake is never going to go beyond this circle's shape. No matter how many times I add in these extra little triangles, it's not going to go above that. So I have this area calculation happening. And if you work this out mathematically, this area uh, has a limit to it. So it's not going to get larger than the value of this circle. There's actually a value it's just getting closer and closer to. However, the perimeter of our snowflake is not going to have any boundary at all. So as we continue to add more and more iterations of this adding in the triangles the perimeter gets is it four thirds times the amount of perimeter that we had before on each step so every single time we'll multiply the perimeter by four thirds times four thirds times four thirds for every time that we do this and that means the perimeter will end up going toward infinity so as you infinitely do this process with the coach snowflake, you end up having a perimeter going to infinity and an area that is clearly finite. The area is less than uh, the area of this circle. So I find that super interesting. Now let's look at what I've added to this simulation to go just a few more steps. So if we go one more step, you see the fine details starting to come in and we'll have to zoom in on our fractal to really see the detail of all of these little triangles coming about. Let's go another step and we see the more granular detail happening. And now here, the grand finale of what I was able to do within this Desmos simulation, because Desmos only allows lists of up to about 1300 items in a single list. And so I had to kind of trick Desmos into having the over 49,000 line segments that are needed to show this Koch snowflake. So you can extend this Koch snowflake to more and more iterations so that when you zoom in, you can see even finer detail. But I think that going to this level really shows the idea of this fractal and how it's similar to the idea of the distance along a coastline. If you think of the coastline, actually, as when you zoom way in, there are little segments that make up the coastline. But as you zoom out, you see that it looks like a curve 
on a map. Well, if you've stuck around this long, then that means you really like the Koch snowflakes. So I've got a little treat for you. Here's an animation of the Koch snowflake raw, and then at the end, I also have the Koch anti-snowflake, another Desmos uh, file that I've built, and both of the links to these files will be in the description below the video. So please check them out, of course, after you've hit the like button and subscribed to my channel and all of that stuff. All right, enjoy.